Good morning everybody. How are we all doing today? It's Friday, the end of a week, and we have the moon oh. in Taurus today. So our emotions okay. are wrapped oh. around the Taurus energy. Right, we're just fleeing the cats. Deep fleeing the cats. So um, Taurus rules the second house in astrology. So the second house is connected to your finances, your money, your security, your stability, your worth and what you feel is um, of important values to you. Now, depending on where Taurus fits in your astrology charts, that's gonna be where it's gonna influence your emotions mostly at the moment, that area. But uh, particularly because it's the second house, you'll be looking at your sensual side as well. Taurus are very sensual, so you could be feeling a bit more tactile, um, a little bit more touchy-feely with things, a bit more um, free with your emotions, a bit more lovey-dovey with your emotions there. Uh, and just sensual, you could be feeling a bit more sexy as well. Or wanting to um, maybe be in luxury, you might want to spend some time around some luxurious company or luxurious touchy-feely things today. Go and sit on some fabulous sofas there or come into the lounge and see us on ours. Um, it's about money as well. So Taurus um, rule the house of money. So you'll be, emotions could be looking at your financial state. For some of you, you could be feeling really secure. Some Tauruses particularly, Virgos, you might be feeling very secure at the moment. You could be feeling that you are uh, happy with your financial situation you're feeling a bit content others and might be feeling a little bit more like the opposite signs you could be feeling a bit more insecure with things so you might find your emotions are a little bit nervy around your finances or your security there so each sign will feel a little bit different um, but generally the emotions for over the next today I don't even know how long Taurus is in, Gem in the moon in Taurus I think it's a couple more days generally it's going to be around your security so double check your finances double check your bank get organized with things perhaps put things in order get a little to-do list to do with your finances or anything that makes you feel secure your home your work things that make you feel secure that's going to be important and essential things so let's have a little look and as per nothing's coming i've got ellie good morning ellie i've got maya good evening maya let's just have a look uh, on my group because that's where it comes up it doesn't come up on my phone too well who knows why let's just ooh, refresh that and i can uh, see who's chatting to me there and we'll have a look at some some cards now this happens when you have, don't do the washing up and all the glasses are in the sink to have the gin glass for water in the morning. I promise it's water. It won't be tonight though because I'm out, out. So I should be on it tonight. But anyway, let's have a look. Um, okay, I can see you there. Morning Ange, morning Anita, um, morning Caroline. Chance would be a fine thing. Well, gotta be in it to win it there. Morning Shaz. Okay, let's have a look at um, the card for today. So if you missed that on the astrology, listen back on replay. But it's about security, money, finances and sensual things. Getting a bit sensual with yourself or with your partner or anything really. Sensual, uh, Tauruses love touchy-feely things, velvet and crystallies or sequins, anything that's got um, a real strong feel vibe to it. So you could be having a little bit of a feel up today somewhere. Right, okay, let's have a look um, then. Today's a message. Do you know what? This keeps coming out all week, so there's something in this. It is the six of shields here today. So it's come out for some different things this week. Six of shields, six of pentacles. This is all about, um, funny because it is to do with it's Libra. I think it, this is... Um, something in Libra, but it's to do with finances. It's to do, no, it won't be Libra, will it? This will be to do, I'm wondering if it is the moon in Taurus. I don't know, I can't remember. I have to go on my notes. But anyway, it is to do with um, an earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn will come in with this. Morning, Lisa. It's um, about sharing, sharing is caring, but not if you do it too much, then it's taking the piss. 
So basically this card is about bringing balance to your finances, bringing balance to things that are uh, important to where you can want to help people, but in all, they need to help themselves. So there needs to be some balance there. This card says you're going to have a little bit of extra cash coming in. So there could be a bonus around you. There could be um, a bit of a pay rise there, but some more money coming in to be able to pay things off. So there's that balance coming back in. If you find you're a little bit flush, you could be helping others. Charity, generosity, uh, voluntary work, that all comes in here. Not just finances, but energy as well. So you could be giving some of your energy away. If you feel like you've got a little bit more and you want to help others, you could be giving something away there. But it's all about balance. So as you give it away, they must give you something back in return, even if it's just an energy exchange there. It doesn't have to be financially. This card also is about financial financing other people. So if you've been asked to help other people, then think if you can lose the money because you may not get it back. Be prepared to lose it. If you're going to be asking for money, this card is a positive yes, that you will get the money. But again, make sure that you can afford it. Okay, Make sure that you can afford to give back what you're borrowing there. And if you can't do it with the finances there, then energetically something there. That uh, So you're getting a, creating a balance. This card looks at paying your debt off though, clearing things, just what we were saying with the Taurus energy. Interesting that it's coming there. So clearing balances, clearing debt, weighing up your finances and getting some better balance there and energy practical energy because it's a coin card so practical energy looking at how you can balance your practical energy how you can ground yourself a bit more if you've been in like woo woo land for a little while this weekend it's like now oh, that's a male it's now talking about balancing grounding yourself so perhaps get out in nature because from a lot of us here it's going to be a nice nice weekend We've got victorious happening i won't be going but victorious i've never been to victorious um, it's happening over the weekend, so there's lots of, and it's a bank holiday weekend here, so there'll be lots of things going on. But try and get outside, try and ground yourself. So this card is about ma um, managing your finances, balancing things, balancing your energies, and grounding things. And interestingly, um, it's, there's been lots of posts recently about balancing things and I've been saying like how I only do three days a week now and how it's great um, and next week we're having a gorgeous day out in Avebury which normally I'd say no I can't do because I'm working but after this lockdown thing I was like do you know what I'm going to just say it even if I have to shop, shut the shop I'm just going to enjoy things so um, I'm able to just say yes to this really nice day out at Avebury with some angelic healing friends there they were going to be doing some angelic reiki up there so uh getting the balance, it's all about balance. So ask yourself, where is your balance in things? Ask yourself, where do you need to get balance? Ask yourself, where do you need to get um, organized with your finances there? Maya has just said, it's her birthday tomorrow. Good, happy birthday, Maya. So Virgo there then, little Virgo coming in. What have you got planned, Maya? Anything over the weekend? You're in Australia, so I don't know what the lockdown situation is like there. Don't know if you can get out and about. Oh, don't know, don't know. But everyone, have a fabulous weekend. Um, we're building into the September. So over the weekend, I'll be putting the tarot scopes up for September. Um, so on the YouTube channel, Kate May One Day Mystic. So you're either watching this on YouTube or you're watching it on the group, but you'll be able to catch it up on the YouTube one. I've also had my website designed and finished. I'm just going to change the picture because there's a mark on my top. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good to go. So do check it out. I'd love to know your feedback on it. So let me know what you think of it. www.katemay.co.uk Have a great weekend, everyone. And there's no need to shut the shop because I'm there. That is right. That is right. Uh, May says, oh, I'm in lockdown with curfews. Rubbish. Rubbish on your birthday. Yeah, I think I had two birthdays in lockdown. But I didn't mind it, actually. The second one was a little bit more annoying. Um, we were a little bit out, I think. We could go out a little bit. But the first one I didn't mind at all because I just didn't have to arrange anything. And it was quite nice just to chill out at home without having to arrange anything. Morning, Sophie. How are you? And morning, Rose. How are you? So if you want to listen back for the astrology and for the tarot message, listen back on that on replay. Have a great weekend, great Friday, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.